everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing well today i'm going to be sharing with you the power of no if you watch my video that i made on the first of january i shared with you some of the tips to embrace some success tips i mentioned that you should set smart goals and you should follow through till you achieve those goals for you to be able to achieve your smart goals you have to embrace also the power of no. As I continue on my journey, I now know better that the power of no would help you on your life's journey, your journey to be who you want to be or to achieve the goals that you want to achieve. I'm not asking you to say no to everything, but it's important to also know when to say no. At every point in time, you have the power to decide what is best for you. So for example, like myself, there's always a lot of pull on my time. People reach out to me, speak in this engagement, or help me do this, help me do that. I would love to be everywhere, but if I don't prioritize, if I don't take charge of my time, there will always be pull on my time. This is how to handle that. In your own case, you could isolate yourself purposefully to say that, oh, for the next three weeks, I'm not going to be on social media at all to study for my next exam, if you have exam. It could also just be that uh, someone reaches out to you to say, please, would you be able to review my book? as just an example. If you can't do it at that point in time, be confident enough to say, no, I've had to do that on my own journey. And I would expect that the people that I say no to won't be offended, won't be angry with me, only because I can't help at this particular point in time. It's important for you to communicate your intention because people will automatically assume that you don't want to help them. Let it not bother you as much. You're able to, to convince yourself that you rather prioritize your time on this particular task or particular goal for you to meet your professional or personal goal, then you're good to say no. For example, someone calls you for maybe a speaking engagement. And you don't have the time because you're preparing for exam, you're preparing for your assessment, or you're preparing to meet a particular target, whether in your personal or professional life. In this case, you can simply say to them, I'm truly sorry at the moment because of my time, because of what I have on my plate. I'm not able to help you at this particular point in time. However, if in the future you are having another event, of course, I can come on board and speak at that event for you. So I would expect that the people you are saying no to won't get offended. They will respect that, oh, this is a priority at this point in time for you. It's important to learn how to say no. Stop taking on board the things you can't do. If you can't help people, just let them know, I'm sorry at this point in time, I can't help. However, uh, three weeks or four weeks, I'll be able to help. Then go back to the people and say, Oh yeah, I have a little bit of downtime. I can help you at this particular point in time. You expect that people won't get offended, people won't get angry, which is not always the case. You may lose relationship in this regard. However, it is important to be able to prioritize your time. You can focus on what is important to you at that particular point in time. So that is simply how to say no without being enemies to people. As always, I want to thank you very much for listening today. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please feel free to share with your friends and family. It is free. And if you are not subscribed to the channel, please go on and click the subscribe button down below. As always, thank you for watching and I'll speak to you soon on my next video.